Hello, this is Gary Fox of Create and Mate, and uh, we have decided, or I have decided, I guess, on my website that we're going to tackle making a popsicle crane. Now, why would we make a crane out of popsicle sticks? Uh, that's really a good question. <laughs> Mostly because it's a challenge. Um, popsicles sticks uh, are not very long. They're only wide in one direction. And so uh, it's going to be a really big challenge. And that challenge, if you think about it, has been uh, done by mankind ever since day one. If you go look at the uh, older bridges, you will see that they're made out of smaller pieces of metal. And there was a lot of workmanship going in there uh, as they made the uh, what's called latticing. They latticed the, the little pieces of metal back and forth to brace the uh, the other pieces of metal and uh, in a lot of ways that required a lot of finesse whereas today if you look at bridges you'll see that most of them uh, use really large pieces of metal uh, and it's made at a factory uh, it's carted to the job site and uh, that has tended there's a lot of effects in that. One of them is that uh, it requires less manpower. It's a lot more energy intensive. It also requires uh, it requires less thought uh, than the older type of, of way of making things. And it also requires big capital investment. Uh, we've got a world right now where more and more of it is going toward uh, larger companies and uh, less is being controlled by fewer people. More is being controlled by fewer people. So, uh, I guess I question sometimes where our values are. So we're going to build a popsicle, <laughs> a popsicle crane. Uh, there's lots of people out there that have built popsicle bridges. And uh, so that's pretty well covered. We're going to see if we can finesse and build a crane. Okay, on my website, createandmake.com, I've done several posts recently about trying to analyze the forces on the boom of a crane. And it comes out that a crane pretty much is uh, all under compression. Okay, compression has to do with two things. One of them is that if you compress a material, a short piece of material, you end up with uh, crushing it. Uh, so you get that short piece of material wide enough so that it doesn't crush. But when you get to a long piece of material like this, which is popsicle sticks, this is my very first uh, little attempt because I just kind of wanted to get a feel for the problem. Uh, if you get a bunch of uh, things to make a long skinny column, you got a different set of problems because it tends to want to buckle. And that buckling uh, is pretty catastrophic because it happens quickly and once it starts happening, uh, it pretty quickly degrades to the uh, whole thing is uh, broken. And that's exactly what's happened to this particular, uh, this particular stick. I've already broke it, although it doesn't really show it that much. Okay, uh, what happens is, and this one you can see already has a bow in it, uh, if you have something that's perfectly straight, perfectly the same material, uh, number one, you can't get to that. And there's always going to be a weak point, and at that weak point it's going to tend to bow. So as you can see, I'm bowing this right now. And I'm not... I can actually try to bow it in the opposite direction, but you'll see it quickly uh, goes back. And if you listen real close, you can hear it cracking. It's already split right there in the middle. 
Uh, so this broke already. So, how do you fix that? Well, one way is that you get a bigger material, and uh, that bigger material will uh, has a different ratio there of thickness to height and length, and uh, so therefore it won't bend near as easily. Eventually, if I could put enough force, which I can't with my fingers here, uh, I would cause this one to bow also. It's also a little shorter than the other one. And that would make a lot more sense to build that crane boom out of these square pieces of uh, dowel rod. But uh, that doesn't have any finesse. <laughs> so we're going to continue trying to do it the hard way. Uh, the other answers could be, and they will be part of the answers, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, the other answers could be to have more sticks glued together in parallel here. And uh, that's what I'm going to do is build a 2 by 3 by 2 by 3 and then build a tower out of it. Uh, and then test the tower by putting, by putting the whole thing under a compressive force. And it'd probably be about this length. That would be a good section of a uh, crane boom. That's one answer. Uh, other answers are to build hollow sections. And hollow sections, uh, and we can do this right here with this straw. We're going to take it, put it under compressive force, and I have to hold my hand at not at one end because these are those funny straws for kids. My granddaughter would be mad. I'm tearing up her straws. Uh, anyhow, as you do that, you see that it pretty quickly starts to bend. And then once it bends, uh, once it kinks and it's broke, uh, that's all she wrote. And you see that that would have been catastrophic if that was a structural member. Uh, we have in this little town, we have a uh, building that had a situation like that where they didn't have adequate support as they were pouring concrete for the second floor. And... Uh, whole bunches of things broke. Okay, this one here, you see I've got a little bit wider one, so I can put more force on this one. And that's one of the answers, is to make things wider. It eventually will bend, and it's starting to right now, and then it'll kink. Once it kinks, it's broke. Uh, it tends to uh, split this pieces of plastic. But you see it, i got a lot more force. You could probably tell by looking at my fingers. Uh, I get a lot more force on the uh, the wider one than I do on the skinny one. And that's one of the important ratios. Okay, so what are we going to do with these as after I make it 3 by 2 The other th answer is that I have lattice work going between it and the other, other three beams. It's easy to glue on these uh, wide sides, but it's hard to glue in a narrow direction. I'm hoping that by the time that I get three wide and two wide uh, that I'll be able to have enough surface there that I can glue. Our rules are that we're going to use nothing but uh, Elmer's glue, white glue. And uh, other than that, I don't know the rules. If you think about four of them, it's going to be we're going to make it work. But we're not going to make a solid piece of wood. <laughs> um, if you think about uh, these four of these, and I'm pushing down, I got as much probability that one side's going to tend to want to bow toward the other one as it is going to bow outward. And immediately you think bowing outward. So I can't use ropes to tie the ones together because if they all bowed outward, then you could use that because ropes work in tension or strings. But I'm going to have to use actual sticks to. Uh, to make it. Anyhow, that's pretty much the uh, whole situation that we're going to talk about in, uh, in this, and we'll continue on with it. Um, I currently made myself a fixture so that I could be consistent on how I make these things, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got something out of this.